In this episode of the FXTM educational series, we're going to be taking a look at the alligator. Now, this is a series of technical indicators and overlays, as well as a trading system created by Bill Williams. Now, the idea behind the alligator is to find and identify trading opportunities that are in favor of a strong trend. And the way that it works is it's essentially a combination of three smooth moving averages. So here I've drawn an example of the alligator on my chart here. And it consists of essentially three smooth moving averages. And you can see each one of these here. The first one of the fastest moving average is a five period smooth moving average that we call the lips of the alligator. The second one, this red one here, is an eight period smooth moving average, which we call the teeth of the alligator. And then finally, here we have a 13 period smooth moving average, which we call the jaw of the alligator. And we assume that there's a bearish trend intact when the jaw is above the teeth of the alligator, which is above the lips of the alligator, especially if they're diverging like that, showing a lot of growing momentum. So this would be a bearish trend. Now, just the reverse would be true for a bullish trend where the lips of the alligator is above the teeth of the alligator, which is above the jaw of the alligator. Now, periodically, these lines will become intertwined and confused. We would look at that as a non-trending market. You can see an example of that right here where the alligator is uh, sleeping or getting hungry. So we're interested in periods of time like that because they precede a potential breakout, but it, it does indicate that there is a non-trending market in place. So let's take a look at this on a couple of charts. So you can see here a period of time when the price was relatively flat and therefore the three lines involved in the alligator were quite entangled and intermeshed. This is telling us that the trend is not very strong, so we wouldn't be looking for opportunities here. Now by contrast, here's a situation where you have a very strong positive trend where we have the lips and teeth and jaw in the right order and they're even diverging from each other, which is great. So this shows that the alligator is, is hungry and the trend is really starting to gather some momentum. Now there are a couple of additional concepts we need to understand before we dig into some of the specifics around the trading signals associated with the alligator. The first of these is a fractal. Now fractals come in basically two flavors. The first one is an up fractal, and an up fractal is defined as a bar that has a higher high than the two bars that came before it, and a higher high than the two bars that came after it. So that's our up fractal. Our down fractal is just the reverse, where it has a low that is lower than the two lows that came before it, and also lower than the two lows that come after it. So that is our down fractal, and we're going to be using fractals to identify trading triggers and signals and so forth, as well as trailing stops. Now, divergent bars are similar in concept, but we're going to be using them differently. A divergent bar happens, so we'll do a bullish version first and then a bearish one. So we'll say that a, a, in this case a bullish one, I'm going to start with a bar, goes down like this, and then a second bar that does have a lower low. Now it doesn't really matter where that bar opened, but what we want to see is the close in the upper 50% of that bar. So that would be a bullish divergent bar in this case. Now a bearish divergent bar is, again, just the mirror image here, where we have a bar that appears and then a second one with a higher high. It doesn't really matter where that second bar opens, but what we want to see is a close in the lower 50% of that bar. So that would be a bearish divergent bar. So with that, let's go take a look at some specific trading examples or trading setups using the alligator, fractals, and divergent bars. In this long example, we're going to start with the first two criteria. Number one, we want the alligator to be signaling an uptrend. That means that the lips are above the teeth, which are above the jaw. The second criteria is an up fractal that appears above the teeth, which you can see here. Now that high price of that up fractal is used as the breakout point where a trader would initiate a long position. So once it's appeared and the price has begun to rise and the alligator is signaling an uptrend, we see a long position could be triggered right here. Now a trader may decide to put stop losses on the subsequent down fractals that will appear after that initial entry. Often traders will take profits when the price crosses below the lips of the alligator, which is more conservative, or below the teeth or even the jaw for a more aggressive positioning strategy where they're allowing the trade to run as far as possible. It's also possible to use divergent bars to identify early bullish entries. Now this is defined when the price has gone below the alligator. So you can see an example of that here. 
Now at this point you could draw or even just imagine a line being drawn from the breakout point below the alligator and more or less following along the direction of the teeth and the jaw. Next we look for a bullish divergent bar and you can see an example of that right here where an investor can then take either draw or imagine a line that's drawn from the breakout point down to that bullish divergent bar. Now the further apart these two lines that we've drawn are the better, that's what we call angulation. An entry order can be set at the high of the divergent bar and a stop loss at the low of the divergent bar. Now keep in mind this is a counter trend move, so it's going to be inherently more risky. Now this short position is very similar, it's just a mirror image of what we looked at with the long position. The first thing that we're looking for is a cell fractal to be generated. The second thing that we want to see is the alligator to signal a downtrend where we have the jaw above the teeth, above the lips. And that cell fractal should be below the teeth, which you can see those criteria have all been met. Once price is crossed back down below the low of the down fractal, then we've got a trigger for that new short entry. Stop loss levels are oftentimes placed or trailed as each new up fractal is formed. Now it's very possible that a trader may decide to take a profit when the price crosses back up through the lips, which would be more conservative, or all the way through the teeth or even the jaw for a more aggressive exit if they're willing to let their trade run a little bit. Early bearish entries can be identified using divergent bars. Now this is a counter trend signal, so it's inherently going to be risky. To do this, what we're looking for is for the price to cross above the alligator, which you can see happening here. And at that point, you can either draw or just imagine a line that's being drawn from that breakout point along more or less the same direction that the teeth and the jaw are headed. Then we look for a bearish divergent bar. You can see an example of that here. And once that's been identified, you can again either imagine or draw a line from the breakout point to that divergent bar. Now the further apart these two lines are, the better is what we call angulation. And an investor could put an entry order to short the market at the low of that divergent bar with a stop loss at the high of the divergent bar. Once again, remember, this is a counter trend move, so it is going to be a risky entry signal. Obviously, there's a lot going on behind the alligator, but what's important to remember is that it's designed to help investors to identify the trend, the strength of that trend, and trading opportunities, whether they're long or short, in favor of where momentum is actually headed in the future.